It's a very wet day here in the homestead. We have Hurricane Michael moving through now with about another week of rain. We've now had about three and a half months of rain. It's been raining almost every day since about the beginning of June and everything around here is just very, very wet. And if this continues through winter and we get some cold temperatures like we did last year, we are in for a lot of snow. So today's video is going to be about building a reference library for your homestead. Now, a lot of you guys are just getting into homesteading and you guys are doing all your research out there on the internet, but what happens if the power goes out or if you don't have access to digital information, that's where your reference library comes in. And uh, I'm teaming up with Liz Zorab over at her homestead over in the UK and a bunch of other channels where we are going to give our top three homesteading books and uh, present those to you guys so you guys can check out all the channels and put together your own homesteading library. So without further ado, I'm going to go through my top three that I think are the most important to have if you only had three books to choose for your homestead. All right, you ready? So number one, classic Back to Basics by Reader's Digest. Um, I don't no, if this one is in print anymore, I do know that they did an updated version and I haven't seen the updated version yet, so I don't know what's in it. Um, but this is a classic book to have for homesteading. It has absolutely all the basics for building a homestead from scratch. This is the book that my dad had said if he had to bug out, go in the woods and bring only one item with him, this is the book he would bring with him because it tells you how to set up a homestead from scratch. Now this book has absolutely everything in it from laying out your homestead to pest control, how to set up fireplaces, different versions of them, recipes in here, how to can, uh, how to make shoes. I've always wanted to learn how to make shoes out of leather, um, but absolutely all the basics for setting up a homestead. This is a must have if you're building your library. All right, so book number two is definitely John Seymour's Self-Sufficient Life and How to Live It. This is basically the updated version of the Back to Basics book. It has kind of all the same information, but in an updated, more modern form. It has ways to lay out your homestead in here. Uh, again, recipes, canning, how to skin animals, absolutely everything you need to start a homestead from scratch. And honestly, if I had only one book to choose, it would have to be the John Seymour's book. I would want to model my homestead off of everything that John has here in his book. This guy's been doing this his entire life and he knows his stuff. Definitely number two book, um, but the number one book that I would get if I only had one book to choose. All right, so the third book that I would choose for building a reference library would have to be the Foxfire series. Unfortunately, this isn't just one book. This is a series of at least, I think there's 12 books in the series. And then they come out with anniversary versions, such as uh, this is the 45th anniversary and this is the 50th anniversary version. But uh, this is book one of the series and this contains everything about true homesteading. Now this book was started by a teacher, Elliot Wigington, who uh, decided to have his students go out and talk to their relatives and different people in rural Appalachia and record their stories and uh, to document uh, how they did their crafts and how they how they lived their lifestyle. And all those stories, all those crafts, everything is in this book series. This particular one is about hog dressing, log cabin building, uh, crafts, foods, planting by the signs, snake glore, hunting tales, moonshine, um, and all those stories. And there's how-to pictures in there, like how to build baskets. Here's about chimneys, chimney building. The only downside to this is it's not very detailed how-to. You kind of have to interpret a lot with the books. But uh, again, this is an excellent series. If you didn't have access to the internet, uh, and if you really want to know how people used to do things back in the old days, like truly do things, this series is going to tell you how to do all that. It's really starting to come down now. Uh, they're actually calling for flood watches again in our area. Uh, so again, we don't have to worry too much about where we are because we're up on the mountain, but uh, definitely if we have to go down to town or anything and people in the lower lying areas, they do have to be concerned about all this rain. But uh, those are my top three books for homesteading. I hope it's been helpful to you guys. I do have on another video on my top three frugal cookbooks. If I had only three cookbooks to choose, those three cookbooks would be the one to have. And I love those cookbooks. I reference them all the time. I'm going to leave a link to that video up above and also down in the description. And I highly recommend you guys go and check out Lizorb and all of the other channels participating in this collab. Listen to what they have to say and what their opinions are and uh, see if there's any books 
other than what I had suggested that you would want to add to your library. And uh, if you guys are out there homesteading right now and you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Again, short little video. Hope it's been helpful to you guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.